Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. Today guys, we are going to solve question number 541 of lead code called reversing 2. It's an easy level question guys. Uh, very quickly everyone, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of such coding and programming related videos. Now without making any further delay, let's get started with the problem statement. So guys, as you can see on my screen, the problem statement is called as reverse string 2. Basically guys, we are given a string like this. So we have string is like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We are given an integer value called K. So what we have to do is we have to reverse this string by K characters and then leave K characters. So for example, I uh, reverse A and B and then I leave two characters. I'll just leave them and then I take another K character. So for example, EF here, then I reverse them and then, and then I leave another K characters and then furthermore and furthermore. Okay. If uh, the characters which you have to leave are less than the amount of K, in that case, you just leave all of them. If the characters that you want to reverse are less than the K amount, in that case, you just re reverse the characters which are less than K, okay? So whichever the characters are left, okay? So basically, that you have to do. You have to reverse K characters, leave K characters, then reverse K characters, and then leave K characters. And whatever with the last set of characters you are left with, if they were the type of reversing, then you reverse all of them. If they were the type to leave, then you just leave them, okay? leave them as original uh, another example guys you can see that uh, input is a b c d and k value is 2 so that's why we reverse the first two characters and then we leave the less uh, last two characters as original and that becomes our output the constraints are pretty straightforward as well uh, you can see that the length of the string is from 1 to 10 to the power 4 only containing lowercase english letters and k value varies from 1 to 10 to the power 4 again so that was the problem statement guys and let's jump start to the solution for this problem so let's look at the approach first so what we are going to do guys we are just going to first of all convert our problem into a array so first of all we are going to convert our string to an array so that we can you know reverse it and iterate all the elements then what we are going to do we are going to make a for loop in which we are going to take first k characters first k characters reverse them and then leave k characters and how we are going to leave the k characters original we are just going to increment our for loop by k characters okay so that's how we are going to run this for loop in this for loop, we take the first k characters, reverse them, and then we increment our for loop iterator uh, or for loop index by k so that we jump to the next k characters which we have to reverse. So then next k characters, k characters are reversed. And finally, guys, when the entire string is completely traversed, we return the reversed string. Okay, so that's a, a whole, whole pseudo algorithm for this problem statement, guys. And now let's see how we can implement it in Java. So first thing, we are going to create a string array. So s dot two char array is going to help us with that problem. Now we are going to start our for loop. So for integer i equals to zero to i less than s dot length. Now, guys. Generally, we do i++, right? But here, we are not going to do i++. We are going to do i becomes equals to i plus i plus 2 into k. So, what, what's going to happen here? That i will be incremented by 2k characters. Or basically, I would say it is going to be incremented to that position where we have to reverse the characters, okay? So for now, our loop is at 0th position. And what we have to do, we have to reverse characters from 0 to k position. 
So what's going to be my starting position? It is going to be I. What is going to be the ending position? It is going to be I plus K minus 1. Obviously minus 1. Why? Because our index starts from 0. But in this case, guys, we have to take into consideration when the characters which we have to reverse are lesser than K. In case we are like at the end of our strings. For example, if uh, K value is 2 and uh, until F, all the characters are particularly handled. And when I move from F, let's suppose that's the position where I have to reverse the characters, right? So in that case, guys, what we are going to do, we are going to take only uh, characters which are like uh, all the characters which are lesser than the K amount, right? So in this case, guys, we have to take into consideration that if the index is lesser than the length of the string, then we take the ending index as the string length. So basically, if the minimum value from i plus k and string length is uh, whichever is the minimum value between i plus k and the length of the string. We are going to take that index as our ending index. Obviously adding minus 1 here because uh, you know that i plus k is going to be obviously uh, because we are starting from the 0th index. So we have to make sure that uh, we don't try to access an element at as dot length index or i plus kth index okay so that's why this minus one okay so now we have the starting position and the ending position of our reversing substring so let's see uh, we are not going to use for loop sorry we are going to use while loop so while start is less than end simple uh, simple swap here we just have to declare a temp character so this is a simple swapping algorithm. So temp becomes equals to array start. Ah, sorry. Array start. Array start becomes equals to array end. And then array end becomes equals to temp. And finally you do start. Start plus plus and end minus minus. Now. Once this while loop and this for loop also gets uh, completed, then finally in this array, in this string array, we will have our reversed string. So how we can return it? Return new string of array. And that's that's it guys. That's our algorithm. Let's run this code just to see if it works with our uh, test cases. And uh, hopefully, yes, you can see that my solution is now accepted. Let's submit this code just to be doubly sure that this is the correct solution. So you can see guys that this solution is accepted as well. And now simply uh, we have to understand the time complexity. So if you see guys that the time complexity of this uh, bigger for loop is actually order of n. Why? Because our index runs from 0 to, uh, you know, we start from 0. And then we process the k elements at once with this while loop. And then we jump to the k plus 1th element or the next k element, right? So obviously the uh, each and every element basically of our string array is accessed only once. So this is the order of n for loop. So that becomes our time complexity. And let's say the space complexity is obviously is going to be order of n. Because we have converted our string array or string into a array of n characters so that's our space complexity so both space and time are order of n uh, so i hope guys uh, you guys understand uh, understood this video and the solution was a bit clear to you and uh, thank you so much for watching guys uh, if you like my video if you like my content then please i request you to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for future notifications if you have any questions comments suggestions for me write down in the comment section below i'm definitely gonna address them and give this video a big thumbs up guys share it with your friends as well i make here videos almost every day from monday to friday so thank you so much again for watching i'll see you guys in the next video until then bye bye